Hi guys, so we're on a, on our way, my wife and I, to do what I think is going to be a post-mortem on our tomatoes. It's been a really wet, humid summer so far. Had a lovely spring, or part of it, but the summer's been really wet and uh, perfect conditions for blight. Well, you can see a big bear patch in my wife's garden there where she's ripped out all of her tomatoes because they all got infected with blight. I'm fairly confident that all of mine are the same. You can see the ones trying to make a run for it out the, out the door there, out the window. And uh, yeah, you can see all of these plants have been hit by blight. And this has happened in the last three or four days. I've not been in here for a few days and it's just ravaged all of these. You can see these blotches on the stems and on the fruit. There's nothing can be done to save these plants now, which is a little bit depressing, but there you go. So the tomatoes that are ripe or ripening will take in the house and we'll be able to use them like normal. And the green ones we'll be able to use for like chutneys and things, but that's about it. There's no point in you know, hoping that the rest will come good because they just won't, they won't ripen. They won't ripen as quick as they will get attacked by the blight. So my wife and I are gonna spend a minute just tidying up the uh, cucumber plants, which have got a little bit unruly again, and then we'll see what we can do. It's such a shame, but there's no salvaging them, unfortunately. So the telltale signs of the blight are obviously the discoloration and the crinkling into the leaves and then when it's set in and spreads it spreads to the stems as well which you can see here and then eventually the fruit which is what you're seeing here with this discoloration generally speaking if your plants are in a polytunnel or a greenhouse they're far less likely to get affected because the spores of blight come in on the wind and uh they're more likely to affect your outdoor plants. It's the same blight that affects potatoes. They're of the same family. They're both nightshades. And uh, yeah, it's the same, the same fungus that affects your tomatoes is the same fungus that gives you potato blight. Just judging by the amount of fruit that's on the, on the plants at the moment, we would have had a, a really good crop this year as well. <laughs> Look at that, lovely, healthy root system. We were growing in uh, super soil this year because you'll remember last year due to chicken lockdown we had our chickens in here for a good couple of months and then we've had our fresh compost on top of that all of that goodness from the chicken manure would be you know slowly breaking down so we've um we've ripped out about 75 percent we've got a little bit to go so we've got some in here that will ripen up just uh it can be demoralizing our first year here we grew a load of tomatoes in here and we didn't know what we were doing i certainly went to a lot less effort than i did this year insofar as you know training them and pruning them and i accept you know this year we let them go again because the yields are so good they're so much better but it's just really demoralizing when you just have to take a load of plants that are just coming into production and just throw them out. But there's nothing we can do about it. You know, it is what it is. And there's some space in here now that I'll be able to plant something else. I haven't even started thinking about what that might be. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and you can hear that lovely British summertime rain. That's why we're getting it. You know, we've just every day for how long, love, has it been like this? Three weeks. Three weeks. This is what the skies have looked like for three weeks. And it's just been wet. It's been damp. Here's an example. Look, here's a pot with drainage holes. That's the weather we're having. And this is our summer. This is midsummer. Well, it's not midsummer meteorologically, but 
Traditionally August, this is our hottest month. And uh, I was at work this morning wearing a winter jacket. We do have cucumbers for days though. We, we definitely, definitely don't need more cucumbers. They're doing fine. So all this now is just waste that we need to burn. And, uh, and that'll be the end of that chapter. It'll be the end of my, you know, 2021 tomatoes. There, there will be no more. And here comes the rain, <laughs> right on cue. We do have these guys which are really sheltered. So we will get some tomatoes out of these. And as you can tell, they're in this little sheltered location, which is where I'm gonna put myself now, in the house, a nice sheltered location. Happy summer. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. From me and the goats under a tree. Press that like button. Leave me a comment down below, subscribe to my channel and I'll speak to you on the next one. Cheers.